Hi, this video is a follow-up to a video I did a week ago showing it to you over here. The uh, Windows Blue Screen of Death Win32 K Full Dot Sys when printing March Windows Update. Uh, so how cool is this? I've showed up in the number one position. Well, that might be because I, the words that I searched for are exactly in my title. Well, a boy can hope. So this video is about the um, final solution that Microsoft has given us. Now, there are places that you can come across when searching for this, such as over here. I think I've got a Google search I did here called Optional Update KB5802. Well, that's one of the updates that actually caused this problem, where when you try to print to a Kyocera printer or a couple other ones, but all the problems I came across were had to do with Kyocera, uh, here's the results that you get. Here's windowslatest.com and scrolling down we get a Windows Central and we get a Microsoft.com. Now when I first looked at these I scanned through them pretty quickly and I saw it, that the fix shows up as an optional update. That's not true. It does not. I think what it does is for older versions of Windows such as 1903 and older it'll show up as an optional update. It does not show up as an optional update for 1909 or 2004 or 20H2. So what you have to do is go to the Windows uh, catalog, the update catalog. Let's see what I've got up. Oh, I don't have it up here yet. So I'll go to a new tab and type update. Uh, let's see, did I have that as dot catalog? No, come on, how did I have that? Catalog. Oh, catalog.update.microsoft.com. Of course, you could do a Google search for it, but I've typed it in before and it shows up as this, and, and I usually have that URL pretty well remembered. So catalog.update.microsoft.com, press enter. That'll get you to a page that looks like this, and the way this works is up in the upper right corner. You put in the search uh, term that you want to use. So I'm going to start with KB5802 because that's one of the cumulative updates that actually caused the problem. And search for that. And I'm doing it this way because I want to show you something without taking a whole lot of time. These are all 2021-03 cumulative updates for different versions of Windows. Well, there's a lot of stuff there. To narrow that down a little bit, I'm going to come over here and put a space X64 to narrow down to choices more appropriate for me. And I find that here, this one, 20H2 for X64 systems, 2004 for X64 systems. These are Windows version 10. This one is server, so I don't need that. This one is server, I don't need that. These ones are GDR, which would be, I believe, different languages. So the ones that I'm interested in are these two. So I'm not going to download those because those are the ones that caused the problem. Now to fix this problem, in the prior video we showed to uninstall that update or do a system restore. And either of those options will work. Now the catch is once you've uninstalled that update, doesn't that mean you've lost some of the patches and fixes that that cumulative update provided. And yes, that's true, that you do lose that. So if you care about getting those patches and fixes, then these are the steps that you want to go through. If you simply uninstall that update and then deferred updates past the, eight, the second Tuesday in April, so it's later than the second Tuesday of April, if you're okay with that, you can just leave it at that because once that computer starts doing its updates, it's going to update, it's going to install the cumulative update for April, which will have this fix rolled up into it. And so here I'm going to show you why we know that. For this 20H2, I'll click on that and we come into here. If we go straight to package details, we see here this update has been replaced by the following update. It has been replaced by KB500-1567. Now you can easily um, memorize that number because it's 500. The one that caused the problem was 5000. It's 1567. Well, you start with one and then 567 are sequential numbers. 567, like a number line, right? 
So you've got that one memorized now. If we close this, remember we're looking at right now for 20H2. I'm going to close this and I'm going to go take a look at the one for 2004. Click on that. Package details. We find that it is also replaced by this 51567. So it's the same cumulative update that, uh, that does the fix for both 2004 and 20H2. All you have to do is apply that update. You can click on it from right here, or you could go search for it by putting in the KB 51567. So I'll click on that right there, and that takes us up to this package. And let's see, does it tell us? Yeah, it tells us that it uh, supersedes, replaces the other following updates. And it ought to tell us that it replaces the 2021-03-5802. Certainly it does. It should tell us there, though, that it also replaces the, what was it? Was it 502? You know what? It was 502 for both uh, 2004 and uh, 20H2. So either way, it, it comes out the same. Now that didn't actually get me there, did it? I hadn't tried this before. Let's go click that again. Package details. Click on this one for KB 51567. Does that actually get us to a place where we can install it? I don't think it does. I didn't realize that. More information, support URL. Okay, so I'll just go go up here and put in the 501567 and press enter. Now I could have done the space X64 right there to to reduce the number of things I have to look for. If you look through these you can by process of, of elimination figure out which one you're actually interested in by eliminating server, eliminating uh, GDR if they show up there uh, or and eliminating the ARM64. So I just go here and put a space X64 to reduce the amount of things that I have to look through. So cumulative update for Windows 10 uh, server, I don't want that one. So this one, yes. Not that one. This one, yes. So depending upon whether I'm applying this to 2004 or 20H2. So what if you're applying to 1909? Well, 1909 was a different culprit. Remember the culprit that we searched for was 802. Well, the culprit for 1909 was KB 5808, if I'm remembering that right. Let's make sure. So that was the 2021-03 cumulative update. And if we go ahead and put in that SpaceX 64 and enter, that gets us down to these choices. So these were all for 1909. We don't want server. And here we don't want dynamic because that's the foreign language one that I'm I'm assuming that's what that is. Cumulative update for Windows 10 version 1909x64. And if we click into that and then click on package details, it tells us it was replaced by 1566. So remember that other one that we looked at was KB 501567. Well, this is 1566. So also a fairly easy number to rememberize. Yeah, I said that. All right, so 500, 1566. Enter, and then silly me for not putting space X64. Enter, and that brings us down to only two choices. We don't want server, we want that one. So then you can download it and install it. Now notice the size. The size of this, I neglected to point out the size of the original 5802 and 808, but they were similar to this. This is a full cumulative update, so we'll take as long as the original cumulative update took. The computer that I installed this on yesterday, it took uh, about 20 minutes for it to do the install. And there's this graph that goes across the screen. You've seen it before, the bar graph. It just barely creeps forward for the longest time. And then when it gets to the end, it just zips all the way to the end. So you could feel like, gee, is something going wrong here? But you can see it creep a little bit. If you look at the right edge of that bar and compare it to the letters above it, you can figure out, yeah, it has moved forward a little bit, but it seems to take a really long time. 
Once it's done, you can do a test print to your Kyocera uh, copy machine, and it worked perfectly for me. You can install this update regardless of whether you have 5802 or 808 already present. So if you have uninstalled that update, fine, you can go ahead and install this update. If you have not uninstalled that update and it's still there, you can go ahead and install this on top of it. If you uninstall the update in order to fix your problem and you postponed updates beyond the second Tuesday of April, you can just let it go if you're not worried about having the additional fixes. So I think that's about it for this video. I hope this was useful. What I do on my channel is I provide free computer support to people uh, through Zoom and through live Windows streaming, uh, live YouTube streaming. <laughs> Send an email to me, Doug Betts at Live Windows Training, if you'd like to request a session. Give me an idea in the body of the email what you'd like to have help with, and we'll put it together. I hope this video has been useful to you. Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.